Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is part two. I will cover the shoe uh, upper completely and so we will finish it and I hope you'll enjoy this and let's get started. Thank you. Bye bye. Now if you see I'm reveling the edges here uh, because I need to burnish these edges because it's uh, more than millimeter thickness so it's uh, almost uh, two millimeter thickness and I did that thick leather deliberately to make it more durable. So just be patient you will see the burnishing. I'll try to skip these um, as fast as possible but I'll try to cover all the steps um, because some people um, would prefer all these steps so they can follow um, now here I am trying to scratch these, uh, this leather the one millimeter leather to glue the English tweed over it and uh, that's why I'm trying to make it rough so the glue will hold it firmly now here I'm gluing these, this edge to add the uh, top leather piece for the shoelaces I just want to make sure that it's, it's hold firmly and it's in the exact place, uh, location in place. I'm putting pressure uh, by this roller so it will hold firmly. Now here is the bottom edges on both sides. I deliberately made it leather, not only because it looks more aesthetic, the shoes, but it's also protect the, this fabric from the water from the bottom side of the shoe. So this leather will create a buffer zone or a barrier with any uh, environmental uh, conditions. And it looks beautiful as well, this wave, especially with these uh, punches, uh, the metal uh, pattern. It looks beautiful. I hope you will like it, uh, uh, the end result in general. I, 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 I found it lovely to be honest. Same thing here, I'm trying to roughen this, uh, these edges so I can apply glue, cement.
Here I use the hot air to uh, speed up the process of uh, drying out the glue so it will be tacky. Now here I am doing the lining, the another layer of the shoe upper and um, this one is uh, Vistan lamb leather so it's softer and thinner and easier to stretch internally. Here I'm doing uh, two line stitchings. So you will see this is the first line and then the other line. I found it more beautiful. This is the second line stitching. It's, it's around uh, eight millimeter distance between both approximately. I like the double line stitching. I found it looks more enjoyable.
Now here I'm testing the um, inner uh, lining uh, with the shoe last. Now here I'm creating lining as well for the for these tongues I call them the shoe tongue, uh, and also I will use a sponge as a cushions uh, internally between the liner or the lining and the uh, upper. And so if you can see here I'm marking the location of these uh, cushions uh, in the inner side of the uh, upper uh, shoe leather. Um, and then I will start uh, printing them. Uh, I mean, here the backside cushion as well. So I'm marking them on um, uh, translucent paper so I can project them on the sponge to create that cushion. Now here you can see how I'm projecting these uh, from the translucent paper uh, onto, which is acrylic paper actually, onto this um, sponge uh, um, inner sole I brought. And this inner sole, the good thing is it's it's um, a heavy duty kind of uh, sponge, so it's observed the pressure of the foot. Apologies here for the over brightness, but I, I wanted to show you, I will try to improve the lighting in the future. But I wanted to show you how I created these cushions in, the, in this tongue and also to the sides. So I want to show you from different angles. Again here I'm using the hot air to make it tacky uh, to quickly dry out these uh, and semi dry out this uh, cement. Now I'm placing them after it's became tacky. So you will see now the portions. It's very convenient for the shoes uh, that you will have a sponge in the inner layer. So the pressure of the foot will be absorbed any pressure by these uh, heavy duty sponges. See there? The question is how, how it's looked like now. Always leave a space in the lining when you cut it for the stitching. That avoids any uh, unalignment in the stitching line because of the edge. I don't like to keep the edge here with the lining with the edge of the, of the upper piece. Now here I'm doing the glue for the stitching line. I always prefer to have it in the stitching line if the leather is 2 mm and uh, thicker than 1 mm then it's better to have this kind of groove.
Now here you can see how I did the stitching in, 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 on the top of this uh, glue. And that makes it uh, sort of protected from the bits of the stitching glue. If you insert it and protect the stitching glue from the external uh, effects. Now I didn't like this stitching edge, in this especially the weakest point on the top, that's why I'm trying to add um, a cover. Um, and this will look also aesthetic, that I will have this piece uh, stitched. Um, it's it's uh, a solution because my sewing machine is large for a thick leather, and this is very delicate area. Um, so I'm trying to cover it uh, in this shoes. Now here I'm adding the logo, I wet this leather and then I will press the stamp uh, in this area. It's, it's nice, I don't can see. I should do it before I uh, leave a caution, because this is really apply heavy pressure on the caution. But it's better than not doing really. Now here, now here I'm applying glue and to place the portions in between the lining and the upper 
So these are the designated areas for the cushions for the sponges. So you see I'm gluing them now. There's the one in the back side where the heel is and there is one in, to the side, the outer side of each foot. Now after I did the stitching, I don't need these uh, uh, additional uh, pieces that I made them in the lining. So I'm cutting them, removing them. Because now I will attach <coughs> the lining. I'm attaching the lining with the upper. <coughs> Sorry. Just be careful, make sure it will be glued properly. And these also additional parts that help it out to put the stitching into better. The stitching that will, will, will be better controlled if you have the machine in line with the belt. You can see here the back cushion. I'm gluing them so I will place the, the upper with the light. Again, here I'm burnishing the edges of this uh, tank. And then, so if you have a spot of edge, it's neat. Now, here I'm roughing this area because I'm going to glue it onto the line. And then I will stitch it as well. of the truth. I'm stitching now the upper with the lining. So they will be all out firm before I stretch them onto the shoe last. Now here I'm marking these two needles to hold the tongue, so it will be placed, uh, the holes will be sit on top of each other and that make it easier for me to do the stitching. And also when I glue as well, so I'm not going to glue it in the wrong place. Now here I'm cutting these extra an excess of the lining because I did the stitching now so I don't need any more. If you would like to use the cow leather also the one millimeter it's but I, I, I wanted something more soft. Next time I'll try the cow hide this time. Maybe.
Now this is the last step in this uh, part, and I'm trying to tight these uh, uh, shoe laces holes with the uh, strings, so it will hold firmly uh, before I start stretching them in the next video. And when I start uh, taking the shape of the shoe last, and I start stretching that, so these will hold the, the shoe firm back if, it's, uh, if you apply shoe laces. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is the end. I hope you enjoyed uh, part two and find it useful. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you want. And uh, wait for me in part three, which will cover the completion of these shoes, how I shaped the, the shoe last and stretched all the edges. Now, this is my first, so it was a big challenge and I enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye bye.